Hi guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of December reading for you all, December 1st through the 15th reading for Aquarius. How are you all today? I am doing great. I hope you guys are too. I have already meditated on the card, you all. It does take me a minute, so please be patient with me, okay? This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. I want this one, and I want this one. I do finally have a new deck of cards coming because I know this one's plumb wore out. Uh-oh, I need one more card. What's up with that? Sorry about that. There you go. Alright, let's see what we got. Three of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Make sure they're straight. Bless my heart if I can do it. The Death card. The Four of Swords. And the Queen of Wands. Clarifying. The Rebirth. Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Hmm. Some of you guys had your heart closed up a little bit. Two of Action. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunities all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. That's very nice. You might be going into some kind of partnership. Guardian of Emotion. This situation requires emotional maturity and total trust. You're surrounded by those who have only the best of intentions so that you can rely on the advice you're given. Challenges will be resolved. This card also indicates a generous, humanitarian, and refined person whom you can completely depend on. This could be a re reference to the, these characteristics within yourself. Bless my heart, I'm sorry. I'm, i got to get with it here. Sorry about that. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you guys, when I get the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups in your clarifying, along with the Four of Swords, don't forget, I almost feel like that there's been something that's been uh, nagging at you. Um, it could be a lot of different things. It depends on everybody's situation. It could be that job, it could be those kids, it could be the family members, it could be your relationship, it could be um, your parents, co-workers, friends. But there's something that's been aggravating you a little bit, I have to just say. Something that's been stressing you out in your own mind, something that you've been throwing around and him hawing about and which way should I go, what should I do. You feel like you're trapped and stuck and by yourself and alone in this situation and you really just feel like you need to get out of it. But with this Eight of Swords, you guys probably already know that this is 
in your mind. Not that I'm saying that the um, situations are not true or not real because they are. But this is you stuck in your own mind and your own um, thinking about things too much possibly or letting things worry you too much maybe. Because when I get this card and then this Four of Swords, it's almost like you're exhausted. You're so tired you can't stand it. You just need more rest, more sleep. You need to re-energize. You need to just heal your body and your mind. But there's something that, that with these two cards that you're going to let go of. You're going to turn your back on something or that a situation or a job or a... Um, something that no longer serves you or that doesn't, isn't good for you. Let's put it that way. Something that is not good for you that you just can't take it anymore. You're going to say, you know what? I'm not doing it anymore. I can't put up with it anymore. I can't um, keep working 80 hours at that job. Or I can't keep maybe helping my kids with money all the time. Or I can't, um, you know, I can't be... I can't be at all places at all times. I just can't do it anymore. There's something about this Eight of Cups that makes me feel that you're, you're emotionally um, not happy. And you're, you're moving on from something. Something that's probably been stressing you out and that you've been worried about for a long time. That you're losing sleep over. So when I get these cards, I feel like that with this death card on top of these, it's going to be the death of that situation the way that you knew it, the way that you know it. You're not going to put up with it anymore. You're not going to deal with that anymore. It's um, Sometimes it's like the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak, you know. Sometimes one more thing happens and you're like, that's it. I can't do it no more. So you're turning your back or you're moving on or you're... Um, moving forward from something or someone or that situation because it's not good for you and you're finally realizing it and you just can't do it anymore but with that comes the rebirth almost like it's going to be a new you a new side of you that you haven't seen in a while possibly a new side of you that needs to come out so you'll be happier when I get this Three of Wands, you know, I always see this as you're giving yourself a lot more credit. You're loving yourself more. You're realizing how talented you actually are or how good you are at something specific. You're happy. You're happy with yourself. You're happy with the opportunity that might be coming in. It might be coming in for uh, someone that a new relationship maybe. It might be coming in with this new partnership possibly. Could be a new relationship and a new partnership all rolled up into one. But you do have two people here. Pinnacles are earth signs Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Male or female. She's very practical. She's very down to earth. She's very sweet and kind and caring and loving and giving. She's very creative. And then you have the Queen of Wands. Wands are fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. She's very hands-on. She's beautiful. She's smart. She's passionate. So you guys could be dealing with, whether it be male or female, an earth sign or a fire sign. You could be turning your back on one of those signs. You could be moving forward with one of those signs. You could be falling in love with one of those signs. Or you could be partnering. But it could also be your, you and your energy today. You and your passion. You and your practi uh, practicality here. You and your sweetness. Because I do believe with this Nine of Pentacles, some of you, a handful, might be retiring. Some of you might be getting out of this job so you can open your own business or your own have your own opportunity or your own work from home possibly, answering phones, working on the computer. There's a lot of home jobs nowadays to where you can work from home. So maybe when I, not maybe, but when I get this card, 
maybe you guys will um, be able to enjoy life a little bit more. And some of you won't be as financially strapped as you used to be. So maybe that's where that's why I'm feeling like some of you might be retiring. So you'll be getting some kind of retirement funds coming in to help pay the way. But for some of you, you might be thinking about changing careers, doing something from home, and enjoying life that way, which is great. I think that's great. But I do see something changing in your life that has been stressing you out a tad. And when you finally do turn your back on it or move on from it, you're going to see your life become a lot easier, a lot better, a lot happier. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. You know, change my mind. Here's the thing, you all. I feel like that there's been something that's going on in your life, some kind of a situation that's been going on in your life that is definitely stressing you out. You're thinking about it, you're thinking about it, you're thinking about it, it's driving you insane. And a lot of times when you get this card, you feel like you're alone, you feel like you're, um, you, you, you don't know what to do, you don't know which way to go, you don't know how to deal with it. So what happens is it just stresses you out. You might not be sleeping good at night, you might not be resting good, because you're exhausting yourself. But I do believe that there's going to be some situation, and it could possibly be the same one, that you're finally turning your back on. Now, once again, this could be your job. This could be your coworkers, your family, your friends, your kids, your parents. Not that I'm saying you're going to turn your back on your family, but there are certain situations to where you can only take so much, right? So maybe that's where this is coming in. And you're finally like, okay, that's it. I've had it. I can't do it no more. And when you do, when you get this Four of Swords, you're exhausted, so you need more rest and more sleep, and you need to recharge your batteries, learn from it, grow from it, and move on from it, because it's going to be the death of a situation the way that you know it. Something you're not going to put up with anymore. It's going to end. And then you get this Queen of Wands and this Queen of Pentacles, and they could be male or female, any age, the wands are fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. She's very beautiful. She's, she works hard. She's passionate. So it could be you and your energy today, but it could be somebody that you know or love or someone that might be helping you or somebody you might be turning your back on. The same thing with this Queen of Pentacles. Pentacles are earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So she could be, she or he, could be in the same predicament. They could be parents of yours, Friends, co-workers, family members, but they could also be loved ones or relationships or people that you've just finally said, that's it. Could be you and your energy today. Something that you're passionate about, something that you're practical about, and you're sweet and kind and generous. And especially when I get this Three of Wands, this is you giving yourself a lot more credit. You're patting yourself on the back. You're realizing that whatever you set your mind to do, you can actually do. Because here's this Nine of Pentacles saying that you're going to be able to enjoy life a little bit more. You're happy with the way your life has turned out. You're content. You could be financially secure, financially set stable. Some of you are going to be retiring with this. But some might be working from home, doing something completely different. And then with this rebirth, it's almost like changes. And I think it's changes from this situation because it's going to be the death of it. So good changes are coming into your life. Some might be getting into a new relationship or a new house, a new job, or just something new and exciting in your life in general. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. 
Some of you might have closed down your heart a little bit. You didn't want a relationship anymore. Enough is enough. But this card wants me to tell you it's okay. If you found someone that might be a great uh, partner in your life, it's okay to open up to them. Guardian of Emotion. This situation requires emotional maturity and total trust. You're surrounded by those who have only the best of intentions, so you can rely on the advice you're given. Challenges will be resolved. This card also indicates a generous, humanitarian, and refined person whom you can completely depend on. This could be a reference to these characteristics within yourself. It requires emotional maturity and total trust. So maybe that's where this is coming in. Maybe that's where this new partnership's coming in, too. Or this new romance. Two of Action. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. So maybe you guys are, are going to be partnering with a friend, with a romantic partner. Maybe that's where these queens are coming in, male or female. Maybe that's what you're going to be doing from home and enjoying life a little bit more and being happy with yourself and content. Because something is, I believe, is going to change for some of you. But if you want it to, you could always do something yourself. Become uh, in a partnership or a business opportunity. This is a good reading, you guys. This is um, your first half of December reading, December 1st through the 15th reading for Aquarius. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.